everyone, it's Jen, and it's time for the drawing for the giveaway um, that I posted as my 101st video. I made a card and a pin cushion with some of the Tilda fabric and paper. So let's start with the card real quick. I used the Country Escape paper line as well as I took some of the Tilda fabric and adhered it to a paper towel and then that made it very easy to um, cut out. So I stamped these hearts and cut them out and then three of the banner pieces I also cut out and then these two were from the paper line and I took a stamp and just stamped around the edges of those and um, put them up there as a banner with some um, <clears throat> I really like this bling it is pearlized and it is also um, faceted so I used that across the top and in between the banner pieces and I made some tiny little bows and added some flat back pearls and some trim and I stamped these little lines down to the falling hearts that are popped up and then used a gorgeous girl stamp and paper pieced her dress um, with paper from the collection and colored her with Copics and then I also made a flower with um, the material that I cut out with a Sizzix die and then I also put some crackle accents on there as well as a little bit of paint and then all of these flowers um, oh there's another little flower that I made these flowers <clears throat> these two here are paper flowers from AC Moore um, they're paper and the leaves are silk they're from the wedding section and I added just so and um, some satin Mod Podge and some Distress Glitter as well as some ink and a little bit of paint. And the same thing with these um, silk leaves that were from the wedding section at AC Moore. And some of my favorite um, polka dot trim back here and used a Martha Stewart punch on this piece down here. And then what I did was I put a piece of the ribbon in here and just finished off the inside so that it can stand up. <clears throat> oh, and I also use these little, um, these are just little beads that I have that have words on them and ink that up a little bit and put those on there. So I'm very happy with the way that that came out and I hope whoever receives it likes it. And then here is the pin cushion that I made. I have a um, 30 minute video out there on how to make this pin cushion. Um, as uh, I've had several requests for that. So that's out there and made some coordinating stick pins and just put a pretty button on either side and some trim around the outside. And this is a pretty large pin cushion. It is, um, it's four by four. <clears throat> so this is probably the largest size I would say that I make. A lot of the ones that I make are th uh, about three by three. So, um, and it's got my favorite center in it. So I hope, um, I hope these are well by received by whoever wins. And I am on random.org here. Let me see if I can just do this really quick. What I'm going to do, let me get in screen here. I can just do it like this. Um, I had 33 comments on the video, so I'm going to just use random.org to select the winner, and I'm going to start from the bottom of the comments and count my way up. So let me just click on generate here, and number 24, so I'm going to go over to the video, and we'll count up from the bottom. There's my mom. I already told my mom she couldn't win. <laughs> So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 is Marilyn G. So Marilyn G, I am going to send you a note um, and if you could forward me your address, I am going to go ahead and send you the pincushion. And the card, 
and hope that you enjoy them. And again, this giveaway was just a thank you um, to all of my subscribers for subscribing and watching and commenting. And yeah, that's it. So you guys have a super great day. And Marilyn, I'll be sending you a note. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.